All right, top side. If you look at the front of the car, you notice the lead edge of the bonnet, as we touched in with due looks. It was a lovely old bloke who did it. Don't shout at you. But it's had a few stone chips on there. <laughs> and in keeping with whatever he did, every time a stone chip appeared, it would get coated, which is why it's still here. And it's the same down these panels here there's a there's a yeah there's a there's a there's a, a daub of daub of dew looks down both sides but as have you seen on as if as you have seen on the inside yeah it's uh it's very very nice as they say roof rd350 lc shh don't tell anyone a bit of a 70s man, me. I was born in the 60s, so 70s is my year. Right, inside, inside the vehicle. Seats, completely original, unripped, unfettered. I muckied the carpet yesterday. Bit of limestone on there, but... Now, as you may notice in this car, it's not fitted with a radio, <laughs> nor a wing-mounted aerial, nor nothing. No speakers, never had a radio in it. Apparently the guy in Paris was good at singing and he, he got better at humming. <laughs> so this one, uncut door cards, uncut parcel shelf. And you know in here it smells like your car from the 70s. It really does, it's got that smell, it's got original carpets, it's the headlining. I'll show you this look. Now this is one of the cars I will actually, I will, I regret selling it. Sills and door bottoms. And the beauty is this. <laughs> Same at the rear. Again, another touched up chip. What were we doing wrong in, in England? Why? <laughs> why? Why do things last, I tell you why? It's salt. It's the salt that does it in England, I'm afraid. Chrome up bumpers as mint. Slight, tiny, tiny little bits of pitting. Not pitting, it's just the little dimples you get on chrome. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This poor carpet, it's been ripped up more times than enough to show people in here. It's not that proud of it. Spare wheel wells, mint, bottom at tank wells, mint, no corrosion whatsoever. Time warper. She's a time warper, bless her. This side. The spring closures really work on this door if you get your fingers caught enough. All the doors, they've just, they've just got that way loveliness. eBay's a bugger, you can only put 12 pictures on. Now how can you describe a car like this with 12 pictures? You can't, can you? It's impossible. It's on its original 12 inch rims and caps. 
it did come with a set of 13s on it which they didn't he had, he had Cortina rims on it but it did, it did have the original so they went straight back on there's a blemish there a little bit of rust creep coming through a little line out of the trace up a line you see it there <coughs> the wipers didn't work when I got the car the mechanism had fell to pieces inside and actually burnt the motor out so I replaced the motor and while I had the uh, wiper mechanism out there was just a little bit of surface corrosion at that point there so I trapped that and put some paint on that it, it looks better than it. It, it it needs little bits like that taken care of she's a love she's ace right, let's pop bonnet for you <laughs> see this little book this little book here just because when I got it the uh, fuel gauge didn't work so what he did was at a mileage he put what, what fuel he'd put in it at certain mileages so he, he had a basic idea of what were left in the tank <laughs> so I just fixed the sender it's a little bit easier under lid did we tell you what mileage it had got on it? This car had spent about 30 years of its life in a garage in Paris. It's on 59,000 kilometres. Do your sums. Now that steering column there in France, what they tend to do is that brown one, I've seen a few, they go white, the sun eats them. And what has happened there is someone's painted that. It's been painted up. They go white and crumbly, so it's done the right thing by painting it. The leather's good on the wheel. I'm glad my battery's holding out on GoPro here. Sorry it's a fish island, but you, you get a bit of a better idea of what's going off, don't you? Right, bear with me. One-handed. Can you do it one-handed? Can you, can't he? You can. Right, hang on. Eleven hundred. Cross flow. New battery. I put a U.S. on it. I don't know wrong with battery that were on it, but wing mounting rails, chassis number. There's corrosion treatment dripping off it everywhere, and wherever he's got busy with, he's even painted this here as well. The original was underneath it all, just under mastic. This is a take your man to church car. I think that's what it's been used for all its life. Air intake set for winter. <laughs> you might have noticed as well for an 1100 it's quite a rare animal. It's got servo brakes and discs on the front. There's new pads on the front as well. The car's well maintained in that respect. Quite, quite rare for a 71. Uh, there's no scoring of the discs, the pads are quite new. It all works. Pulls up straight. Hand brakes mint. It's ready for an MOT. It don't need one. All the ball joints are good, all the, all the everything's bang on. I mean if someone's that bothered I will take it for an MOT. But it's uh yeah. There's naff all wrong with this one. Naff. Still on the dynamo. There was a recondition, they had the dynamo reconditioned in France. It charges well, it's putting now 14 volts in at speed. And the engine itself is fit as a fiddle. Right, I'm going to now endeavour. If you notice, look, it's, it's also sh shorts on the inside of the bonnet as well. With corrosion treatment dribbling out, dribbling out all over the place. Don't know what they call it in France. It's, it's awful stuff to tea cut off though, it leaches into everything. But if you notice it's run all, run all the way down the valance panel at the back. Slam panels do luxed as well. But totally original and solid. The internal partially covering number. Yeah. Great. Boofal. Let's button her up. And uh, I'll put the camera down one minute.
it makes it so much easier. Ta-da! Right, I'm going to start the auction at six, six grand. Um, I think she's worth every penny of that, and then beyond that, you guys can decide for yourselves. Um, I've been looking, and I can't find anything like it. There's a lot of South African cars out there. Admittedly, they are the right-hand drive job, but if you look at the chassis rails underneath, they've all been crushed by the world's worst mechanics jacking them up under the sills, rails, and everything else. You'll not find a cleaner one underneath than this one, apart from some Looney Tune wit jack at the back, as you see in the underneath video. But no, she's uh, she's certainly a mighty, mighty square thing. And as I say, she wants leaving as an 1100, but it's your money. It's your money. There's plenty. There's plenty of Mexico copies, RS 2000 copies out there. This girl just wants leaving as she is. Nothing more than just a nice old girl that puts a smile on your face when you go down the road. Right, well, have a bid, have a laugh. I'm also uh, an importer of uh, French loveliness, so I also bring in uh, some other stuff from the 70s and 80s, i.e. Uh, these old things. So, yeah, and also I do a few trails bikes as well. So if you're in a car game, you'll not know me, but if you're not in the motorbike game, I'm quite well known. But there you go. Have fun, have a bid, see if you win, and you too could be driving Miss Daisy. Take care guys, have a good week.